Hi everyone, I'm Ali Grayman. Just wanted to tell you that no matter where you are in terms of your recovery, you can do this. You can push through even if you feel like you're pushing through just a little bit each day. That a little bit each day will still give you full recovery eventually. It's just the speed of it. And also your speed right now is not necessarily the speed that you're going to have as you get further in recovery. Because in the beginning, it's always the hardest because the person is not entirely sure how to do ERP. Uh, everything seems very scary because the person's 10 out of 10. And it's just it's a very difficult start. But then when you get to 7 out of 10, OCD thoughts come in, you're like, Yes, neighbor, disregarding, don't care, right? You start to become much more uh, conscious that these are not your thoughts, that these are automatic thoughts. I don't need to pay attention to them because the fear is not that high. In the beginning, the fear is so high, it's paralyzing and it's very hard to react correctly. So you just have to power through this first period and really put a lot of effort into it. Just like I'm saying in my other videos, record the amount of time you're analyzing. Even if you're analyzing all day, record that all day. And then the next day, try to have a half hour where you didn't analyze, you push through no matter what, and then an hour, and then an hour and a half, and so on. It's just continuously doing recovery work. You don't have, it's not an all or nothing thing, because a lot of the times people will say, well, I tried to do recovery work, failed, I guess I'll never recover. And that is just completely incorrect because it's just little bit by little bit and you will fail. You know, um, if you don't know about OCD setbacks, please listen to uh, my video on it. It was like a few videos ago, um, but just please listen to it because it's really important for you to understand that setbacks happen for absolutely everyone. You just have to keep pushing forward no matter what. And as you do, I promise you, you will recover. Even if it's a very slow recovery, never give up. Just keep going at the speed that you can right now, but at the maximum speed that you can right now. Because you have to understand that every day that you are just giving in a little bit where you probably could have held back is you're progressing OCD further. So to some extent you are anyway, because you can't just stop doing all compulsions, stop all analyzing. But if you feel like you have a little bit of a playroom here and you can push yourself a little further, it's going to be a little harder, but I can't push myself a little further with the exposure and response prevention today, disregarding the thoughts, not doing compulsions, then try to do that because it really does help. And also a very important point is to reduce the stress in your overall life because that sets people back a lot in terms of the recovery. So if you feel like you have stressful situations that come up, as much as possible, try to reduce them or really work on adjusting how you react to them so they don't affect you. And, you know, this ERP work, you can use it for real life stuff as well. If, say, um, you have continuous trouble uh, at work or continuous trouble at home, are you reacting to these things too much? Do you feel like if you don't react this much, would, would anything really be different, right? And if nothing would be different, whether you react or not, then why are you taking yourself to a 10 and then OCD goes to a 10, right? So a lot of the times, just reducing your involvement in things and just saying, you know what? I can't do anything about the situation. I'm just going to let it be and I'm going to focus on my recovery is a lot of the times a very good thing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find my videos helpful. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. If you would like to do one-on-one -on -one recovery program with me, all the information is on youhaveocd.com. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.